To me, it's a movie that's got everything. It's charming, so original, terrific, exotic. Perfect. Really, really emotional. Amazing. Great characters. Phenomenal animation. It's just gorgeous. Colossal, stupendous. Wonderful songs. Colorful. Entertaining, with a capital E. It makes me cry. And then there's the plaid one. It's got everything. I kiss you, Dumbo. If you ask people who they love, they love Mickey Mouse and, you know, Minnie Mouse. Right? and they immediately go to Dumbo as their most beloved <laughs> Disney character. Dumbo was put into production very quickly and apparently moved through production more easily and with greater speed than I think any other Disney animated feature. Because the story was uh, simple, the crew was very small, it, with that kind of a setup, it's easy to get into a flow. The animation streamed out of their fingertips like lightning onto the paper because the idea was so clear and simple. But it feels like everybody was having fun and just enjoying themselves in the sense that it wasn't trying to sort of break through and be the Citizen Kane of, of animation. The animators could just sort of enjoy what they were doing. My memory of it is that it just appeared there all of a sudden. You know, I was not conscious of people working on it as I was with all the other early films, Fantasia and Pinocchio and Bambi, and of course, Snow White. And in the middle of all that is this nice, sweet, little candy-colored Dumbo. It's short, it's sweet, it's very straightforward, and I think it gets taken for granted. You don't think about it when you're looking at it, but it is only 60 minutes long. And movies aren't supposed to be 60 minutes long, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just odd length in, in a lot of ways. But it doesn't want to be any longer than 60 minutes. It, it is not pretentious. It is not overwhelmed with production value. It's charming, it's beautifully made, and the relationships touch everybody. It is so entertaining, with a capital E, and represents so many of the Disney values we've kind of grown to love and accept. And fortunately, because it wasn't a, an enormously expensive picture, and that it was relatively short, it made money. When it was released, the public just ate it up. This is what they wanted from Walt. The public didn't really want Fantasia. Walt wanted them to try it out. He wanted to lead them on a different path. But th what they wanted, I think, was something more like Dumbo, just pure entertainment. You know, it's not a movie that looks like uh, Snow White did or, or Bambi did, or it's not very complicated to look at. If you look at the backgrounds, they're very, very loose. They're almost gestural, some of them. Those tents, those big tents, I mean, they're just a wash of color, basically. It's just real big, simple shapes, almost like a kid's coloring book in a way. And the, the music sort of carries you along, and, and boy, you get right into this thing where Dumbo is the outcast. Is it possible? Isn't there some mistake? Just look at those. those E-A-R-S. How many kids grow up feeling, this part of me doesn't look right, I don't fit in, I don't... I'm not part of this group. This part of me is ugly. Right away, you identify with that little character. And I think every kid at some point has to feel that. You can layer all your emotions on him because he can't speak for you. And, and somehow when it is so symbolic like that, you say, here's a little outcast who nobody loves because he has big floppy ears and he doesn't even talk suddenly you can pour all of your life experience by the bucket full into this character and start walking through the movie in his shoes. Isn't it amazing that it can be such a beautiful little film and your main character doesn't say one word? Dumbo does not speak throughout the whole film and uh, this is quite a challenge to the animator who did it. You know, that, that is such a, a non-dialogue beginning anyway before Timothy shows up very, very little dialogue. It's just visual uh, uh, bonding with mother and child. Um, it's, it's really beautifully done. And you'll even relate to him more because he doesn't say a word in the story. It's all acting, and you understand everything that, that little character is feeling. I think that that's really good animation. <laughs> and then for him to, to find Timothy Mouse, obviously, who, who is actually smaller than